Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, or welcome back if you're not new. My name's Michelle, and for today's video, let's do a three-month update slash review of the Bottega Veneta Mini Jody in the color Travertine. I got this bag at the beginning of September, I believe, and so yeah, it's already been three months since I've had this bag, and I just really love this addition to my collection so much. So for today, yeah, I'm going to give you a update on like the wear and tear, how it's holding up, let you know a couple of things that I like about the bag, some things that I don't like about the bag, and then just show you what I usually carry inside of my mini Jody. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. All right, so here is a close-up of my handbag, and as you can see, it's holding up just fine. Um, I don't think that it looks any different than when I first got it. I don't really have or I don't have any scratches on my bag. Um, I just love the detail of the leather and I don't see mine like getting any sort of wrinkles, at least not yet. Um, I do have like this right over here and I don't know if it's going to go away, but I think I got my bag like this. I don't think I did that. Um, but yeah, this is what I kind of see and it doesn't really bother me, but yeah, that that's there. As far as like how it feels, I feel like it is getting a little bit more flexible because I have been using it. Um, so it's really helpful when I'm like going in and out of the bag, um, especially like right over here. Um, cause I feel like when I first got it, it was a little bit hard to get in and out of my bag, but now it's just getting a little bit more easy cause the bag is, it's getting a little bit more flexible. As far as the color, I absolutely am in love with the color. Um, it's starting to become like one of my favorite shades of green. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but like my channel art here on YouTube, my subscribe now after I say my little intro, and then like the thank you so much for watching at the very end. I made it to a similar um, shade of green to this because I just love it so much. And um, yeah, it's, it's totally growing on me and I'm really just so in love with this color and I'm so happy that I chose this color. As far as the hardware here, um, it's still shiny, no signs of tarnishing, also no scratches as well, and the zipper, it's still really good. Sometimes I feel like it's a little bit hard to get in and out of, um, but I feel like it's just going to get better with time. As you can see, it's still a little bit, um, not like smooth like butter, but there is still a little bit of friction there, but yeah, here's what the inside looks like too. I love that the inside is leather, so like it's really easy to clean. I have like no worries about it kind of getting dirty because I feel like I can clean it. I really just love this bag and I feel like it's so cute with any kind of neutral outfit, especially like with jeans and a white top or um, pants, like khaki pants and a white top. This just is such a cute addition to like any outfit. Um, and for me, I feel like it's so perfect because I don't really carry that much. Like this is basically all that I carry. Um, so usually like I'll have my key pouch in here and I love using this because I feel like it doesn't scratch on the zipper. Um, I feel like if I had like a softer leather wallet, I feel like it would scratch on this because the this is just so tight to get in so yeah I love using my key pouch because of that because I have no worries about that and then I have some hand sanitizer I don't know why but I just love this sanitizer from the Philippines it's literally alcohol and then I have lip glow or just like any type of lip product with me um, so I have that and then I also have a mirror and this one is from Chanel so yeah have that and this is all that I basically really need. Um, so yeah, all of this fits perfectly inside of here. Um, and if I needed to, I could also put my phone in there too, but I feel like it's always such a squeeze, especially if my items aren't in there the right way. Um, but here is how I usually kind of maneuver my phone in there in case like I just want to put it away. See, it's a little bit of a tight squeeze but it does fit inside and I can zip it up too if I wanted to and that's the iPhone 13 Pro Max 
Um, but usually I try not to put my phone in here just because, yeah, it's just a tight squeeze and I usually want to take it right out anyway. So yeah, I, I try not to go for that. But yeah, so that's all of that I usually put inside of here. And I guess that's kind of like what I don't like about the bag um, is that like sometimes I feel like the zipper here, it could potentially scratch like if you had like a small wallet even like my phone case like I feel like it might scratch here and then um, damage it so I try not to put it in there too often um, but yeah honestly like if you carry a lot of stuff I don't think that this handbag is gonna be for you um, also you can only really wear this in the hand or in the crook of your arm so um, if that's not your vibe this bag is not for you if you need to be hands-free. Probably not for you. I truly do love this bag. I did get it in Hawaii um, back in September, which was before the price increase. Right now, I think this handbag is $26.50 um, here in the States. So if you're thinking about getting this handbag, it did go up in price, but it surely is such a beautiful bag that you can get a lot of great use out of and it does fit i mean if it's enough um even an iphone 13 pro max so yeah if you're thinking about getting this handbag i don't think that you'll regret it if like you know that you'll get a lot of great use out of it and ever since they did release this one, they also did release um, a candy size too. So this is not the smallest version. Um, I'll go ahead and put a picture right over here, but they do have like a smaller version of the mini Jody, and it's just so cute. I think they only have, or at least the last time I saw, they only have like a white one, a black one, and the Bottega green. Um, but yeah, so cute, but I feel like it's not gonna fit as much. And if this one doesn't fit like a lot of stuff already then I don't feel like the candy one's gonna gonna fit enough so yeah it has been three months since I have had this handbag and I just feel like with more use it's going to get softer over time I will give you another update maybe around the six month mark or even in like one year um, so yeah let me know if you're interested in having that done because um, a part of me I really love to watch unboxing videos but it's also really important for me to kind of see like the wear and tear of items too just because I feel like that is it plays a big factor when you are going to spend like a lot of money on a handbag I want to see what it looks like when you first unbox it but I do want to see like how items kind of wear out over time um, to see if the investment is really that good so yeah here's what the mini jody looks like after three months of use um i love this bag and if you're thinking about getting it i think it's a really great bag but just keep in mind how much you you need to bring with you usually because it really is a small bag and it's definitely not for everyone just like my petite sock plat and yeah, I'm so happy I chose the Mini Jody, and it was more of a spontaneous purchase for me. Um, and I'm really just happy I chose this one to be in my collection. So thank you so much for watching my video, and let me know if you have any other questions about the Mini Jody. I'll be happy to answer them, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!